He was in charge of Burnley and on Saturday he takes his former side back to Lancashire for the first time. It's not a game that I was particularly looking forward to prior to the season starting going back to Turf Moor. Well, for obvious reasons, really. It's a difficult one for, for me. Um, I had a good time at Burnley and really enjoyed it. I had no regrets about going. A really good football club with really good people. I um, was given a lot of support by the board. Um, of course, we had to sell players and slash budgets and make cuts. But that's the, the parameters of the job at the moment at Burnley. It's a difficult one financially, and that's why Sean's done so well. I think he signed some really good strong characters to complement the, the good players he had already there. So I think that's why they've done so well this year. And they've got continuity, they've got a small squad, um, but everyone knows each other's strength. So um, I full credit to them for the start they've made. But uh, we can do it with the players that we have. And if we're at the top of our game, um, it should be a good, good spectacle. The work you had to do in terms of rebuilding a squad that had been relegated from the Premier League, when you now see them top of the championship, there must be a, a small bit of personal satisfaction about that. Well, I think from my perspective now, my, my eyes and efforts and mental thoughts processes are, are fully focused on Bournemouth, so um, I don't have too much time to focus on, on Burnley and, and how they're performing. I'm really pleased to see the club doing well. I take no plaudits for how they're doing. That's down to Sean and his management team, because from the minute you go in as manager, you're responsible for that team, and, and he's done exceptionally well. We're talking about Bournemouth and their season. It just seems like this place is, is buzzing at the moment. Well, I think it's exciting times for this club. But, you look back just four, five, six seasons where the club was then and um, how close the club was to going out of business, how fragile the existence of the club was to where it is now and the strong footing it's, it's on and obviously the league we're playing in, the teams we're playing against, the squad we have. It really is good times to be a Bournemouth fan. I've said that all season and my, regardless of where we are in the division, that, that won't change. Um, they should be really savoured because only once in Bournemouth's existence has a club ever been here before. We want to try and stay here for a long time. Um, it's going to be extremely difficult, but that's our aim. You've been involved with the Bournemouth Mayor's Calendar charity event. Just tell us a little bit about that. I just found out this morning what was going on, really, I've got to be honest. Uh, and then I found out, yeah, there's a photo shoot for lads. I was thinking, that's good. Yeah, no problem. And then I found out they wanted me involved. I was like, yeah, no problem. I'll do a, I'll do a snap. No, no worries there. And then I found out... Um, we won't be wearing any clothes, which did make me think twice. I've got to be honest. I've just crammed in 10 gym sessions this morning. I've been pumping weights. It's not making much difference, I'm afraid, Mark, so I'm not sure where that's going to go.